Now to a migrant shelter that's nearly up and running in the Bronx. People who live nearby say they want more information on exactly who will be living there. Despite months of protests, furniture and other items are being placed at the location in Riverdale. Shosh Pedrosian covers the Bronx. She spoke with residents and local leaders. Moving equipment and wrapped up furniture sits outside 435 West 238th Street in Riverdale. It's part of the city's preparations for 95 migrant families to move into this seven floor apartment building. We're worried about, you know, how it's going to affect the neighborhood. I don't know who they are. I don't know where they're coming from. But I'm willing to get to know them. Simple as that. For months now, residents have been conflicted by the city's plans to bring migrants into their community. CBS News New York covered this rally back in September when the new owner of the building revealed there were ongoing discussions with the Department of Homeless Services to convert the building for migrant housing. But fast forward 11 months later, Assemblyman Jeffrey Dinowitz said he and other officials have been left in the dark by the city. You can't operate in secrecy like that. It's not fair. They should communicate with the elected officials. They should communicate with the community board and with the people in the neighborhood. And they have not really done that. They've done a horrible job with communication. Council member Eric Dinowitz released this statement on X today, saying the city told him there will be services for families living in the shelter, a DOE liaison to ensure children are registered in schools, and the shelter will handle security matters. A lot of people have the impression that a, you know, a bunch of criminals are moving in. I mean, that's really what a lot of people think. And the city has done nothing to ease their concern. Assemblyman Dinowitz says there's a lot of logistical questions that still need to be answered before this shelter opens up. He said this week he received a timeline that it should open up at some point this month. In Riverdale, I'm Shosh Pedrosian, CBS News, New York. And we reached out to the city to see what the configurations of the rooms are. We're still waiting to hear back.